live from KTUL Tulsa. You are watching Good Day Tulsa. We'll share how Oklahoma's own and first major prima ballerina is being honored on U.S. currency. We'll be back after this. Well, look in your pocket for the newest quarters now featuring Maria Tall Chief just in time for National Native American Heritage Month. In November, she came from the Osage Nation here locally and went on to become the first American prima ballerina. And joining us this morning to share a little history is celebrity historian Rafi Andonian. Good morning to you, Rafi. Good morning. Yeah, it's, we've, you know, we've kind of talked about Maria Tall Chief here and there, but you're here to shed more light on her. So who is Maria Tall Chief? Of course, she is America's first internationally famous prima ballerina. What's really fascinating to me is that as a child, when she was growing up, mm -hmm. and not far from here, right in the Tulsa area, in Osage Nation, yes. she uh, was taking kids' uh, ballerina lessons as a kid. Right. But when she would go to like state fairs and rodeos, she mm -hmm. was kind of often pressured to dress and dance a certain way within the stereotype that she was supposed to fit right. as someone that was indigenous. Sure. She didn't like that. She talked about that kind of pressure. But despite that, she stuck to ballet, mm -hmm. and when she kind of went on to do lessons, and she actually tries to try to uh, travel around the country catching these lessons. Eventually, mm -hmm. in her early 20s, she finds herself in Paris. Now, remember, despite kind of all her success and growing up, what she was also having pressure for was to be have her name Russianized. This pressure kept coming up even okay. in Europe because a lot of the ballets, famous ballerinas back then, were Russian. They were from Europe. Mm -hmm. She's 22 years old. It's 1947. She's in Europe. She's in the Paris Opera Ballet. Becomes the first American ever of any descent wow. to, as a, to perform at the Paris Opera Ballet, and she knocks their socks off. That begins this sort of increasing reputation of American ballet on the international stage. Wow. In return, when she comes back to the U.S., she does a performance of the Nutcracker at New York City uh, Ballet. You know, dun 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 That Nutcracker becomes famous and an annual holiday tradition in the United States thanks to Maria Talchief. So she oh, also okay. made ballet famous in the United States because we didn't have much of a ballet sure, culture. Right. So she took ballet culture from the U.S. internationally and also back in the U.S. So if you have kids or family mm -hmm. members that do ballet in the U.S., Odds are that influence originates from Maria Talchi's impact. Unbelievable. Wow. What a way to honor her, too, by putting her on the quarter. So mm -hmm. I know that there's an inscription that's on the quarter. I, I was wondering what it means. I know that there's means something. two that's standards. That's her She's name crying. that is in uh, Osage orthography. Orthography is a written form of a language. Mm -hmm. So that's her name in, 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 uh, you know, in the original language. This is now, if you translate it, becomes two standards. And that's what you're seeing here okay. with the props is the head side of the quarter and the tail side of the quarter mm -hmm. because we have five quarters a year that are coming out as part of a women's quarter series program that the United States Mint is doing. Yeah. We're okay. in the second year now, so the five you're seeing here are part of the 2023 series. She's the last one of the year, so the tenth one in the whole series. Wow. So that's the mm -hmm. five in 2023. The tail side is where you have these women featured. It's the first time in American history mm -hmm. that we have a, a, a circulating quarter series. It's really important to understand that these are circulating in your pocket. Right. I have a special proof edition here, but they are circulating in your pocket. First time circulating exclusively dedicated to women. It's the first time in American history this is happening and yeah. honoring these women. And it's so important because they're on the same platform mm -hmm. as George Washington. Think about what, what that means. Thing. What an Money honor. is where nations honor their heroes. Mm -hmm. And now you have them accessible in your pocket. Right wow. here from Oklahoma. And I her know. sister Marjorie as well That's was right. also have, a dancer, too. Of course, the too. five moons, right. all of whom are from Oklahoma. And that is, and all of them are Native Americans from Oklahoma. And that is part of the push to make ballet popular in the United States, led by Maria Tallchief, but of course, including all the five moons, who you can find out about if you go to Tulsa Historical Society. Exactly right. Right now is a good time to do that. Well, what a exactly. wonderful uh, honor that, that they have paid her by putting her on the quarter. You always have a wealth of knowledge yes, that you Rocky. bring us. It's so interesting. To I know you're reading thank this you. book as well. I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well, check out the quarters. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you so much for joining us this thank morning, you. Rafi. For more information on Rafi Andonian and an endless amount of content, visit CelebrityHistorian.com.